I just started making music back in 2012-ish. I was looking for new music because I was tired of the mainstream stuff. I wanted to find something else that I would actually like and enjoy and listen to. I discovered this YouTuber who went by the name DJ Nuss. I decided to leave a comment on his YouTube video uh, because I'm very interested in learning how those things actually work. How do people make what we listen to or we use, like for example, websites, graphics, uh, music, and therefore I was very interested in like how did he do it. Then we started to get in touch even more and more, and then uh, he started teaching me the basics of music production. I lived here in Bergen and actually had my kind of like bedroom studio upstairs. But later on, I moved down here and uh, pretty much uh, making music on my free time. How I came to meet Alan was we're from the same town in Norway, and I saw this poster with a lot of local acts on it, and then there was the name of Alan Walker. And I thought, who, you know, who the fuck is Alan Walker? <laughs> Did a couple of, you know, a quick Google search, found Fade instantly, listened to the song, saw the amazing numbers that at the moment was, you know, four or five millions, I believe, on YouTube. Checked out his Spotify, you know, instantly were, were really captivated by his music and by the melodies more than anything. Jumped on the phone, the promoter of the festival was a guy I knew. So I ended up uh, asking him for Alan's number, which he, after a bit of convincing quite reluctantly gave the okay to pass along and I got the number called him straight away his initial reaction was who gave you my number <laughs> I didn't know like uh, why he would call me why what he wanted and I didn't really think I would be needing a manager because I thought like I don't need one I, there's nothing big going on I didn't really see like that I could end up where I am now we wanted to create something that was unique, something, a visual identity, an idea and a concept that was kind of way different on many levels than what we had seen and experienced, at least in this part of Europe and within the EDM scene. I grew up pretty much in an online community. And what I want to do is to embrace the unity of that community. And that's why I wear the mask, just to symbolize and create unity. All you have to do is to put on a mask and a hoodie you become a walker just like me. Alan's visual image is born from his core fans, the gamers. It's about this like mystical identity with his hoodie and his masks and that's also like from the gaming community that you're always behind the screen, there's something between you and the others. We want to keep that and uh, build something very interesting by not telling everything from the start. The idea of doing a new version of Fade, which then later on turned into Fade, it was, uh, you know, imminent. It came more or less with listening it to it the first time. It kind of felt like something we needed and had to do. We're just thinking about maybe putting like a vocal chop that just said like I'm faded or faded or whatever, like just before a drop or something. So we ended up writing a whole song. Uh, after we added a piano, then everything just changed. I remember that moment when we played that for the first time. That's that, that feeling, that unique feeling of, wow, this is actually going to be quite good, guys. And I think we all felt that at that moment. I remember when we were putting all the old files for Fate, uh, the instrumental, into the Faded project. We looked through his, his old FL Studio project and we were like, huh? Did he do that? It, it was like a prime example of how you're not supposed to do it. His background is not the typical, you know, the classical trained pianist or the, or the typical pop songwriter. So what makes that very exciting is that he's bringing a very fresh approach to the whole production aspect of things. And maybe that's also what made the whole glue in the project. He was very much inside a computer. He was all about tweaking the sounds you know, making the drops and not really caring about the more traditional uh, production aspects, which is also what made Alan so special in the first place. I think the song has gone gold or platinum in more than 23 countries at this time, and it was the 10th most streamed song throughout the world in 2016. Imagine that. Faded Alan Walker! 
absolutely one of the most exciting years for me as a person and also for my career. I'm very thankful for all the support like in this year or past eight months so far has been absolutely remarkable. You know, I don't think any one of us ever thought or expected or hoped for anything close to this. To learn all the new things he had to learn because of his own success. I don't think I could do it myself. Finding the time to learn everything, you need to be really motivated. It really requires a lot because it's not like you just press one button and uh, you got something. In just a couple of months, he became so confident and, you know, suddenly could do a show on his own without any problems. 